Hey guys, how you going? I just wanted to jump online and just quickly let you know about some storage of breast milk. So I've just pumped off, there's probably about 100 mils in there and I'm desperately hoping Harper is going to take a bottle. She is nine months today and is still not taking a bottle of express milk at all. So um, I'm on a mission this week and so this is a Belmar pump, so this is the Effective Pro, the hospital hospital grade. So both Belmar pumps are actually hospital grade, but this is the one that will increase your supply. So as you can see, it's really lightweight. Now the benefit of this pump is that it actually has a dual motor. So what that means is that it has one motor on this side and another motor on that side. Now the benefit to mums with having a dual motor is that you'll get lots of milk in a short space of time. Most breast pumps on the market will only have one motor and so they're just not as efficient. So I pumped off it's close to 100 mils, maybe 95 in about maybe eight or nine minutes. So obviously I've been feeding for nine months now but you get lots of milk in a really short space of time. So for mums that's so important because we just, well if you're like me, you just don't have time. So um, I'm just going to quickly show you how to store the breast milk. So if you just take that top off there and just grab out your milk, those bottle stands are amazing by the way because it just means that you're not actually going to spill your milk. So I've got these wee owl ice cube trays but you don't need to use anything that fancy. I've just, um, that's all I had in the cupboard. So you can just use any ice cube trays, just you know plain ones from the supermarket are fine. And so the way that I store the milk, especially because half won't take a bottle, but really good for the early days when you don't want to waste your milk, is to tap them into an ice cube tray. And then what I do is just open freeze that. So just pop that into the freezer really carefully, open, let that freeze. And then I just pop them out into a snap lock bag. So you can just see here that I've just put the date and time on here that I've expressed. And then that's it. So basically what you can do is just pull out a small amount. So depending on your ice cube tray, it's around 30 mils. And it just means that you're not wasting your milk. So especially in the early days for new mums, when you're expressing, you don't want to be using a storage bag that's got, say, 100 mils that you're um, going to actually waste waste all of that milk that potentially the baby won't drink so that way you can just get out small increments and then just add to that as you require so uh, now the storage of milk so you can add to it in the fridge for say three to five days and so say for example I've expressed some today if I wanted to add some more I would just express and add to that tomorrow and then I can just decide to freeze it all together and that's absolutely fine. So three to five days in the fridge and up to three months in the freezer. Okay guys, I hope that helps. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you quickly. So with this um, pump as well, I've talked to you guys about this before, but the benefit of this pump for expressing is also the pain-free expressing. So you can see here the shield, um, they're normally hard, but this is a soft shield. So that's just gonna mean for you, you're not gonna have any pain when expressing, which is a really big thing because what's actually pulling in your nipple um, is not a hard outer shell. It's actually a soft silicon that's compressing and squeezing your nipple. So it replicates more how a baby feeds as opposed to an older traditional pump. So I hope that helps and any questions, feel free to sing out and I'll pop the link to the amazing Belmar pump um, up online as well. Thanks guys, have a good weekend.